All right, we're here in the hybrid shop uh, building some gabion walls. You can buy these uh, gabion cages prefabricated, uh, uh, but they generally come in just a couple different sizes. And in our case, because uh, the topography was rolling and sloping, we got into custom applications, so we really it's more cost effective and more efficient for us just to build our own walls. So we're going to kind of walk through the process step by step, show you how it's done. Uh, the first step in the process is getting you know the wire itself. This is a welded wire mesh, uh, three inches by three inches by about an eight inch diameter. Comes in uh, five foot by twelve foot uh, sections, and this costs about ninety dollars a sheet. Percent, I think you can get it for a lot cheaper than that, but uh, we're trying to get it locally, and that's what we had available. Uh, sometimes this actually works a little better too if you got the two by two wire mesh, uh, depending on the size of the rocks that you're using. But uh, for us, given the aggregate we're using, three inches is going to be great. So the first step is just basically take the good old bolt cutters and just start cutting. Uh, it doesn't work, it doesn't take a whole lot of effort, it just takes a little time. And we're basically cutting it into, uh, this is what is going to become the bottom of the cage. So it's two feet wide by five foot long. Each of our cages are five foot by roughly two foot tall. Um, so we build a bottom, we build two sides, and then we build a middle piece and an end piece. Um, and then that basically forms the, forms the cage. Okay, so now that we got uh, our gabions basically cut into sections, the next step of the process is to wire them all together. What we chose to use is, uh, this is basically rebar tie. They can be found at any hardware store. It's very easy to bend and manipulate. And this is a little rebar tie tool. It costs all like two or three bucks. And, uh, you know, you basically wrap, you know, wrap it around the cage and twist it like this. And, how you tie it together. So we make pretty quick work of this. Uh, just kind of start at one end and work our way down. Stiff enough to support itself a little easier. Um, so you get a little fits and starts. Got to be careful not to tie those too tight because um, you'll break them if you spin them too much. But you know, generally what I've been doing is just going through every other, you know, I guess every six inches, every other cell, and. Uh, like such. And this is really, you know, I think it's kind of taking a belt and suspenders approach. We're actually going to go and spot weld these cages together too. Uh, primary concern is just, you know, 30 years down the road that this little thin gauge wire is rust out. It is essentially intended to be under concrete, um, not necessarily exposed to the weather. So that's really the primary reason why we're doing the welding in addition to the ties is just so that 30 years are caving wall doesn't start to fail on us when it comes untied and the things break. All right, so there we have it, uh, finished caving. It took us about, oh, a little under 45 minutes. So, geez, I don't even know how many cages we had to build, probably 15 or so. So probably one full day's work, you basically build enough caving cages for your entire yard. So, I don't know, that's a process from start to finish. Thanks.